you mentioned to me that there is a point where you could, the place where you could be there and look directly down at the Wells property. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that that's very interesting. I, I guess probably everybody else would too, and they might want to hear about that. But then my question would be, if you was, if you, because surely you've been at that location and you turned around and you looked and could you see those trails from that location? Okay. So we're, when we were up there, um, I went, I made it a point when we went out to this, this property, uh, we were, we were going up the mountain and it was steep. And I was like, I'm going to the very top where, you know, just to say that it's been looked at mm -hmm. because, you know, sometimes people won't go there thinking, well, nobody would go up there. Why would you go there? It's just more effort. I'm going there. I went there. And uh, I crossed over a barbed wire fence onto another property. You know, sometimes they say it's better to ask for forgiveness than to beg for permission. Right. <laughs> so I found I was walking up there on this ridge and I found that tent with no poles in, in there. I found those chairs um, and then there was like a, a blind with brush that was stacked up right. And on the other side, it's straight down. Um, so nobody's hunting up there. Like there's no reason for anybody to be there. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see I could hear it. First thing that got my attention is I could hear the dogs like they were right on top of me. Uh, so I looked, I can see the top of the Wells home. So I'm mm -hmm. saying that if you were in a, so I was in a time of the season, that's tree, the, all the leaves hadn't fallen. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I'm saying if it was, if there would have been more, uh, the foliage have, had fallen off the trees, you could probably see a whole lot more. And this is with the bare eye. I'm saying if you had binoculars, uh, you could be on it. And, and when I asked a former law enforcement, he said, that's a lookout. It's close oh, to, the, I don't know. Why, a lookout there, that can see directly onto the Wells property. Like that's yeah. not what I'm like. That's the part that kind of freaks me out. Yeah. And question to follow that was um from that spot can you like you know how when you're looking at the map right over there on Ben Hill you can see all of these little trails that cut through the woods um you see the separation of the trees so I'm just wondering from Listen. the spot that you were standing can you see those trails that you were just talking about from that property see it's not there isn't it's in kind of in between them people in the chat are saying oh that's you know people this is not a holler this is the very top of a ridge very thin area that nobody would be in there the property owner said he knows his property like the back of his hand and that one he said, nothing should, when I came down and told him what I found and showed him pictures, he said, that, that's nothing should be there. I have never heard anybody up there. There was wood cut split up there. It looked like it'd been there uh, just a little bit. When I, when I showed former law enforcement, this, he said, those chairs are not over, uh, you know, five, six months at that time, which would have made it perfect. They weren't rusted. Somebody had been there. Somebody used, there was no reason. Nobody hunts up there. Like I said, nobody's going to exert that much energy just to go stay up there. Uh, it was weird. I got lost up there. And, that's the and that first was a camp spot, right? Yeah, it was weird. So the tent was in, let me pull up pictures real quick. All right, so this right here, um, that I'm going to show you first. Mm -hmm. Let me zoom in. This is a footprint that was near the tent. Hold on. Woo. The tent at the top of this um, peak mountain yep. thing, right? Ridge. Yeah. What do you call it? Because it's not, is it, is it mountain top of the mountain? Or is it like it's, a... it's the top of the ridge. It's the spine of the ridge is what I call okay. it. It's like the very, uh, you know, peak. Okay, this is the tent. See, it was covered up. They had no poles and no supports. And this was set way off from where the chairs were. Mm -hmm. uh, which is the first thing I came across. I was like, that's this a is, tent. That's a is tent. that like, is it a proper tent or is it just like a tarp or something? Like, just I, a little, I think it's a real, like a little round tent. See with the door, it just has none of the, it's like somebody took all the, uh, the supports out, the, the poles that you use to, to, um, you know, put the tent up. So is that one of those pop-up things people use for hunting or? No, this, see, this is weird. This is just like a, somebody just a very quick throw, throw tent. You know, it didn't look like there was two chairs, a freaking tire rim. Like, I do not know how somebody got that up there. Hmm. Uh, and like a, a great, and um, that's it. Like it, there was nothing, else. it was weird, out of place. How many months after uh, Summer went missing was this picture taken? I'm just trying to look at how much foliage is on top of it in the deterioration of the of what it looks like um, beginning fall, of fall, right or... at the beginning of fall. Okay. So probably Octo October, middle of October maybe. This is a very important picture. Whoa, sorry guys. No, that's good, we can see it now. Okay, this right here, here's one of the chairs. You see this over here, can you see my cursor? Um, no. Okay. See this here? Uh, I don't see your cursor. I see this? Okay, see back here where this... Let me okay, see. I see it. I found it. Sorry. <laughs> okay. You see where I'm kind of hovering over? Yes. This brush was all built up right on the other side of that. It's straight up and down. Through them trees, it's like where this picture you can't see, but that right through there, straight on, is the Wells property. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So this is why it hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, this is weird. Just and there's not enough room up there to be moving around and hunting, right? Because I saw somebody no. in comments saying that's nothing but a hunting blind. But there's yeah. no room up there on that ridge to be hunting anything. You tell me who wants to take a deer, who wants to go up there, kill a deer, and clean it up there, and then have to drag it all the way back down that hill, mountain. It makes no sense. This is not, why would anybody, <laughs> most people I know that live in areas like this, I'm sorry, I've, I grew up in this area. Most people that, that, that hunt here, they don't camp where they hunt. They go out, especially if you live in that area, you go out, you hunt, you go home. 
Um, Why would if, somebody bring that hubcap up there? People people don't understand this either. The guy that owns the property knows anybody and everybody coming and going from his property. Hmm. Uh, very, very, uh, very, very observant and uh, is very active in the outdoors. And did not was not aware this was even up there because, like I'm telling you, it's a place that nobody would go. And so did the guy who owns the property see any other unusual activity on his land? And then when you were gone, I asked, did Don know about this spot when no, you told him about it? We don't tell him. We didn't tell him anything about anything. Okay. Because right, so, but the man said that he didn't notice anything and there shouldn't be anything up there. This man, too, was in the initial first search for summer. Mm -hmm. And he had, he's, you know, has a lot of information and he's very, very, um, like I said, he's, he knows the outdoors very well. Here's another picture of the other chair. But um, um, when you told law enforcement about this, did they take it seriously? How long did it take them to get out there to look at what you told them? So I don't I, I never um, got any any information back on that. So we don't know if they did or not. But they, they very soon after that, they went out and they conducted the second search. So that's why when I was saying on those lives, I was saying, hey, we felt like we were in the right areas and we were on point. That's why we were saying that. OK, sorry, I was wrong. It's one point. One point. Three kilometers, so three point three thousand three hundred seventy three feet. So if we take this into account right here. This is the best way. This is where this is the reason I have a theory and I feel the way I do. This is the property. OK, here would be the scent trail. If you say it's the one dog trail, if you can see mm -hmm. my career, it would come down here to Ben Hill Road, right? Mm -hmm. Say she traveled Ben Hill Road. OK. Simpson goes through Simpson Road. Let's see. Make sure I'm in there right. I apologize, guys. This is hard to use right here, especially on the computer I'm using. OK, even if she cut through this back way right here. So, so she came down the scent trail, come through the woods. Either way, you come down Simpson Road here, travel through. Here's approximate of the first, approximate of the second, and it comes out on Beach Creek. That's why I had that theory earlier. There was a car, you know, that was spotted that couldn't get up the driveway, potentially. Um, say there was two pass, two people in that vehicle. You know what I'm saying? One takes one yeah. way, one goes out and meets on Beach Creek. It just... So uh, where on this can you approximate without, I guess, showing? Where would that lookout point be approximately? Mm. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. Uh, I already got jumped on. So I'm just going to say, that's what I'll do. I can't, it's not a relief map anyway, so I can't tell exactly. We'll just say it's over here. Okay. okay. Uh, in that general area. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm not, that I'm not doing anything I'm not supposed to. And right. I'm sorry. That's, you know, that's just me trying to, no, keep you're my fine. Word. Yeah. I gave my word and I have to keep my word. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I guess the uh, demeanor of the property owner when we told him about that up there and him being like that, you know, he was like, no, what were you talking about? Mm -hmm. So I showed him and he was like, yeah, that shouldn't be there. Uh, that kind of just, you know, that was weird to me. And people know, you know, you would know who's going up in these areas because people in these areas know each other. They know everybody. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so you would know what people are doing unless you know, I don't know. So it is what it is. I want to bring up something that's very important. Uh, the tree company guys. And I know that there was another person that we've been really, uh, and I love it. I saw your, I saw your super chat just now. I don't want that to go, uh, unanswered. So the, the tree people guys, there was a lot of them working for, you know, uh, what I understood was a couple, um, a couple of weeks, uh, that they were up there and they were working this whole area and they were up there. They were familiar with what people were doing, people's routines. I felt like they would probably have seen something, you know what I mean? Like they would see, and I felt like maybe when I had asked questions early on, if they were, you know, questioned really thoroughly, I was got the answer that they were kind of just like, did, y guys, did your guys say, see anything or they don't know? No. Okay. So I, you know, I don't know how accurate that is because I'm not law enforcement. I never had anybody from law enforcement tell me that. I just heard that through grapevine. Mm -hmm. um, felt like it was, it was always something that stuck in my mind. And I felt like uh, that it was, you know, something that should be looked into deeper, but it's hard to find out those, you know, those names and that information. Cause they don't, they don't have to tell you or give you that. So, uh, I think last night you were telling me that one time one of the drones fell in the woods or something like that, right? Something like that. And somebody knew exactly where it was and immediately how to get there without like, well, can you was, talk about that person or? You know, it's just like, a, there was, you know, this is how these people, I'm just, that was, I was just making an, uh, making a, um, just letting you know that how people around here pay attention. Uh, like, you know, somebody had wrecked a, um, you know, a drone had went down and it, somebody was able to take it. People know how they're these areas well, and they can traverse these terrains. That's kind of the point I was trying to make. Uh, you know, they pay attention and they, they, you know, they know these areas, they've lived them, they've grown up in them, their families have been there forever. So, I mean, it's, it's so crazy that this happened. And it's like, I felt like there's somebody has seen something or that's why I wanted to make sure I did that live last night about how a uh, witness intimidation can happen. And, you know, uh, just simple things that can, you know, you would never think would scare somebody from coming forward, but it does. Uh, and they, there, there's a misconception that, that if they come forward now that they'll be in just as much trouble for waiting. That's not true. It's only if they catch you with before, you know, holding that information. 
and you didn't tell somebody that you could probably be charged. But, you know, it's never too late. It comes to, you know, people tell what you know. And, you know, it's bad that people were coming down here and protesting because people might feel like, hey, if I come forward, these people will be at my door yelling at me. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, it's it's a big deal. And I felt like that, you know, in and the community, you know, you got family that, that has policed that area uh themselves through for generations and you know they're not gonna speak out against their family. 